sort of cool that now it's coming to fruition. Like I get to do music, I get to speak to you guys. It's kind of cool, right? Um, and, I, and two Chinese New Year's ago, I was chilling with my relatives and my uncle pulls me aside to a corner of the house and he looks at me straight in, the, in my face and goes, so when are you going to get a real job? <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you today, this is my real job. This is my real job. And it can be yours too, because my dad says this, as long as you put your 100% into anything you want to do, you're going to be okay. And you're going to make it. Thank you. So today I'm gonna do something a little different, all right? This is spoken word, all right? It's like poetry, it's all arty party, but I want you guys to listen, okay, as much as you can. All right, this is from the heart, all right? This one is called Rich. Are you rich? Let's put some things in perspective. You and I ain't born based on a directive, but the fact is, our lives are locked by this singular word. Don't blame society, mentality of the herds. There are four definitions of rich. The first one is funny, wealthy, having a great deal of assets or money. But it's not remotely funny that some kid in your class and you don't notice, but he thinks of himself as the last person you want to hang with because you got your fancy toys and towers while his dad works two jobs to ungodly hours and he's been fighting this fight ever since he was eight, trying to split five dollars over date by date by date. Well, his mom fights through chemo. She's his only hero. But ten grand a month and the medical bills, not every hero makes it over every hill. So he grows up, wishing his shoes were a little nicer, his clothes, his watch, daddy's car was a little nicer, or that he even had a car. So when he picks him up from school, while other kids jump into rides, really cool, he's got to walk with this old man in his big umbrella, walk brisk, can't even bear to look behind, and I wish to death I could bend space and time and say, listen, poor is a state of mind. The currency of your heart is stronger any time. Some people will judge you based on social status or money. Some people are so poor, all they have is money. We're born into wealth. Our lives, a collective of a wellspring of good thoughts and bad thoughts where happiness is subjective. So you decide to check your bank book, feel that sickly weight on your shoulders and you can't look, but still you look around and everybody in town is labeling you high class, middle class, lower class. Judgment abounds. So that's what this is. <laughs> Humanity, with it down to facts and stats. It's insanity. Listen, my name is not a number. My blood type, not letters. My ethnicity, not a faction. My culture, not creed. My language, not a syllabus. My religion, not a business. My occupation, I'm just the way to lay this table with food. Don't you ever dare tell me I'll amount to no good. And if they dare to take a swing, you gotta dare to take a hit. They wear an iron fist, but the gloves don't fit, so it don't hurt. Believe me, they can't even hack it. Like a 20 cent man in a thousand dollar jacket. Like a 20 cent man in a thousand dollar jacket. I guess that makes them first world. Diamond necklace pearls while the man across the street and his little girl are busy selling tissue. That little tissue empire. Kind of like your MNC, but just a little higher. He lifts her on his shoulders so she can see a little higher. What does she see? She sees her wealth. She's rich. And not the first definition, redefining her terms, cashing in, believing. Rich, having a high value of quality. Rich, magnificently impressive in quality. Rich, deep and vivid in color, sense, her smell. Barista or billionaire, nobody can tell. And why should they? What exactly are you investing? Stocks, bonds, life, love? Why not throw the rest in? <laughs> Life's a big melting pot. You can't just use one flavor. Do yourself a favor and save your money, but more importantly, your soul. Because one can hold you out, the other make you whole. Your life is a checkbook. The pages are your days. Write carefully and sign off the trills you want to blaze. Don't count five million with the flick of a hand. Count five million once for every man. And maybe in some facets we won't be number one, but we'll be happy when the harvest is done. 
sign the bottom line, it doesn't matter which. Make peace with your heart, and you will always be rich. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to invite my very, very good friend, 